Okay guys, I want to do another quick update on the GFO uh, deal that I was just, just started this tank here. It's been going for, I guess, approximately two, two and a half months now. Had a major algae outbreak, which may be also considered new tank syndrome, I guess happens a lot. Actually lost a few corals because it got so bad with the red slime cyanobacteria. Um, which after watching a lot of videos on YouTube over the months, uh, I know New York Steel says if you've got algae, you've got phosphates. So um, I've only got just a few fish in this tank. It's about a 65-gallon setup in this frag tank. But right now, this has uh, kind of been the experiment on the GFO. I'm using the high-capacity GFO on this tank. I just checked my calendar. It has been in the system for just a little over five weeks. Um, as you can see, my algae is pretty much completely gone. Uh, these candy canes were about dead. They were covered with so much algae, but you can see now they're starting to fluff back out. Uh, this morning they all got their feeder tentacles out looking really, really good. And uh, like I say, this is five weeks in. I'm using the high capacity. I had a fellow ask me a question about is this high capacity better than the uh, cheaper BRS uh, regular capacity GFO. Still not sure how long it's going to last. It's only been five weeks in. Um, but it definitely has less fines in it. I know I use a filter sock on uh, that line separately and my other tank, uh, a lot of fines. It's always turning the filter sock bright red. Or in, in this tank here, it's not doing that at all. So it definitely does not grind up like the other stuff. Um, so I'm, I'm saying it definitely appears to be better. Uh, these star polyps weren't even extended at all when this uh, friend of mine brought these over to my tank. that are his, he's working on his tank right now. And this is the this is the best they've looked since they've been here in about a month over a month. They're actually starting to extend and getting a little bit longer every day. Frog spawn's doing a lot better. It's looking really really good. Been adding a few corals. I was afraid to put anything in here. I was having so much trouble with the algae, but uh, all the corals are really starting to look a lot better in here. I actually have a couple uh, SPS corals there that have been struggling. I think I had the light turned up a little too high um, but uh, have a couple of SPS's back here I have a bird nest back here Pontape bird nest on the left that actually was dying in my other tank probably didn't have it in the right place so I just got a little bit of redness left on it as you can see it's not quite gone yet Let's see if I can get it around I have a green style of four there in the middle it was actually dying in my other tank too but it's actually it was covered with moss but it actually the uh, polyps are starting to take it back over it's doing a lot better uh, the, the coral to the left, I'm not sure the name of it, it actually has some white uh, on there to, to the bottom. It's actually showing some new growth. And this guy back here, I forget what he's called, but uh, he also too has got some white tips on him, so he's showing new growth. But this tank is really starting to look a lot better. And as you can see, uh, this thing here was just covered with, with algae before, and it's all gone now. So it's five weeks in, so can't really say how much longer the other stuff's going to last but it's definitely much cleaner to use um, it, it does not uh, it's a little it takes a little more pressure to tumble it so like I said it's a little bit heavier material but it's been in the system uh, I think it's been in there about four weeks now this GFO has four or five weeks and I also have a bio pellet reactor going on here too Reef octopus with the BRS uh, bio pellets started dosing about two to three weeks ago. I'm just currently dosing the calcium and alkalinity, alkalinity manually dosing magnesium. It's not using that much so I'll probably eventually will add a pump to dose the magnesium also. Getting ready to, to do that on my uh, 120 gallon tank. Mycorrhizae is doing really really good. I'm sure that helps for your phosphates too. Just did a test a while ago. Um, just using the cheap API test kits. Uh, Nitrates are virtually non-existent and the phosphates look like they are also too are pretty much non-existent on here But I also about a week ago a week and a half ago my local fish store Recommended using this Red Sea product right here. They call it no pox um, Which Red Sea makes excellent stuff Anyway, they used this on a thousand gallon tank that had 60 parts per million nitrate and within a couple weeks They were able to bring it down within a reason that has a hundred fish in a a thousand gallon tank and they said it worked awesome so I started dosing this it cost about $27 for this big bottle right now I'm currently I started out dosing uh, six milliliters per day I've, I've kind of scaled that back since I really ain't showing much nitrates or phosphates so 
Um, I've scaled that back to four milliliters a day. And this is supposed to be able to eliminate using the GFO reactor. So we will see about that. I'm experimenting on this before I start my uh, 265 gallon tank just to see what I want to do on that. I've read a few reviews online. Some of the guys say they still use their GFO reactor and their bio pellet along with this. But all I know is, is right now I'm, uh, like I said, getting close to about a week or week, about a little over a week using this. And they said after two weeks you can take your GFO out. But I don't know if I will or not. I just know that uh, my readings right now are looking really good and the tank is cleaned up. And I think I will continue to use this stuff here. But it's, like I said, it's just my uh, one week into the experiment with this. But if it works out, um, I will probably start using it in the 120 and, and work with it there and then before I use it in the 265. And I won't get that tank going probably till this spring. But uh, I'm very happy with the uh, high capacity GFO though. Like I say, it doesn't put all those fines in. It doesn't grind up near as bad. But as you can see from just a three or four weeks ago, this tank was a mess. And uh, now it's actually come back around. But I recommend before you start a new tank, probably better have a GFO reactor or start using this Nopox right in the beginning just to keep all that stuff in check. Because boy, once that red slime takes over, it's, it's not good. It's very hard to get rid of. But anyway, that's all for this short video, and uh, thanks for watching.